I woke up at 4.30 a.m. So excited I couldn't sleep. I had to start work on one of my favorite videos that I get to do on this channel. I only get this opportunity a couple times a year, but when I do, it is amazing. Now, before we start, I gotta go to the thrift store because it opens in about 20 minutes. Of course, another rainy day. All right, got a couple things. Beautiful USA made reverse weave. Made in Italy, 100% virgin wool, meaning the wool has never fornicated. Newer reverse weave, and then this is like a random little vintage shoe neck. Nothing too crazy, but I am pretty excited about this one. Anyways. Now, some of you guys may already know, but I love pants. I have quite a collection of pants. And this next statement is going to be a pretty bold one, but this first piece I wanna show you guys might just be my favorite pair of pants in the collection. And it is this absolutely gorgeous, perfect pair of Mason Marsh. <clears throat> Sometimes being short is just not it. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, we got it. <laughs> this absolutely gorgeous pair of Mason Margiela denim. Their denim just fits me perfectly with this particular pair. I did, of course, go true to size, but as you can see, it features this absolutely gorgeous wash. It's kind of deconstructed look, so you see a little wallet chain, but instead of a chain, it's actually a piece of frayed denim, which of course is in the exact same wash as the pant, and it is attached to this back belt loop, which also features the back pocket. This pocket also, of course, does feature a zipper and closure. Otherwise, when this thing is dangling around, any valuables that you would keep inside would fall out. The tag right there, of course, made in Italy. And the thing I love most about this particular pair of pants is it is extremely loud, yet at the same time, it's something that you can wear every single day, which is kind of rare. I think it's something that just stands out. If you were to wear it and someone just sees your back pocket dangling from your belt loop, if it's not something that's a part of their style, I feel like it is something that if they are in to clothes or clothing manufacturing they're going to appreciate. Now, if you guys are subscribers of the channel, which if you're not a subscriber of the channel, then change that, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and while you're down there, make sure you smash the like button, show some love in the comments. But if you guys are already subscribed, you guys know, I've gotten a couple different pairs of Margiela pants from Farfetch. I got these, which are absolutely insane. As you can see, the pant has two different colored legs and it's actually sewn right at the middle. I got another pair just like that, except blue. These are a little bit more wearable and less loud than that pair. And then and my most worn pair of denim in my closet, which are these. It has a beautiful fade. And then of course, once again, just like those pairs of pants, it features the wash on the leg. This is definitely a welcomed addition to the Margiela denim collection. Huge shout to Farfetch. I said this before, Farfetch has easily the largest selection of designer and streetwear goods. One of the things that makes Farfetch extremely unique is their business model, which is why they are able to have such a large selection. When you go shop at Farfetch, you're not just looking at Farfetch's website. It does feel like that. However, you are actually looking at items posted from boutiques, usually small local boutiques from around the world. And that is why when you place an order, your stuff will come from Italy, from Spain, from Rome, or from New York. And that business model actually proved to be extremely helpful to those local businesses, especially over the last two or three years when a lot of businesses had to close down. Now I do have a discount code for you guys. So if you guys are shopping on Farfetch, if you are perusing the interwebs and you find something you adore just as much as I adore these Margiela denim pants, or even better, these Margiela denim pants, then make sure you use that. That discount code will, of course, be right here on the screen and the description down below. It is Jacob FF. That's J A C O B F F. Just think of it like Jacob, friends, and family. If you guys have noticed over the last year, year and a half, I have really just focused more on the content that I've wanted to produce and I really cut back a lot of sponsored content. One of the only sponsors that I still do is Farfetch. And the reason for that is because it is genuinely a platform that I love. Their site features a ton of information on how an item fits. So I rarely ever get an item that does not fit exactly how I expect. And if for whatever reason you do get an item and it's not what you expected, they have a super simple and easy return policy. And I always compliment this because I find it absolutely amazing that they're able to accomplish this, but every single item arrives within like two days. They usually say three to five days, I think, but I get almost everything right after I order it. And the reason that's so crazy is because it's coming from all over the world. Every time I order, it's coming from several different countries. Thank Thank you Farfetch for sponsoring this video. I'm telling you guys, at the very least, check them out. I will leave a link to their website in the description down below, along with my discount code and the terms and conditions of that discount code. So check it out. And yeah, Farfetch. I love you. With this particular video, I actually tried to focus on things that I feel like I can wear every single day. And with 
Something that I want to do in the near future, which I'm not going to talk too much about. If you want to see, of course, like I said earlier, subscribe, turn on post notifications, you will see. That's kind of what I've been focusing on more and more. Now, one of the things that I loved about these Margiela pants is the fact that it's a little bit more out there. It's something that it would definitely catch people's eye, but like I said, it's something that you can wear every single day. And I feel like these pieces that I'm showing you from a brand that I have never shown off on this channel kind of fall into that same category. And these next two pieces are from the brand Capital. Yes, it is true, boys. There's not a lot of online websites that even carry Capital. Obviously, Farfetch carries Capital because, like I said earlier, they have easily one of the largest selections of clothing you could possibly ever imagine. I love the style of Capital. It doesn't seem to really fall into any one category. You can clearly see there's some Americano inspiration, but it's definitely a lot more than that. So for the first piece I wanna discuss, you have this Paisley zip-up hoodie. If you guys follow the channel, I love almost everything Paisley, but this is a little bit different. It has this paisley front, but the whole back half is like a military liner. As prior military myself, really, really sick piece. It kind of blends streetwear with like Americano military vintage. I feel like this can fit so many different people's style, yet it's still a louder piece. I went with a size two and it fits a little bit cropped in the body, almost a little bit too short for some. However, it fits exactly how I want it to fit. I posted a picture on Instagram of me wearing this piece and I'm telling you like it is literally perfect. perfect. I've really been liking that cropped look. It does feature some kind of unique things. So you see this pocket right here that might not be too unique to some, but it also features another little side pocket right here. This is a zipper pocket. It's right on the seam. It features this little seam pocket on both sides. You have the Capital branding right here. I actually just realized something. I have shown off Capital on the channel. I know I have two other Capital pieces. I have this beautiful pair of like rayon pants. And then I also have a fleece that I don't think I have any pictures of. I'm pretty sure I I have a picture of the rayon pants on my Instagram. I guess this is my second time showing off Capital, but either way, I don't have a lot of stuff. Now, I've been looking at this hoodie for quite some time, but I never really felt comfortable pulling the trigger on it because I was unsure of the fit. Thankfully, Farfetch has a ton of information when it comes to helping the consumer pick just the right fit. Definitely a piece that I have worn quite a bit over the last like week or two since I got it. And this last piece, super wearable. It probably will not be the most worn just because I don't wear a lot of wool, but I had to add this to the collection because I love my sweaters. You guys know how I feel about them. Anyways, you have this army green distressed wool sweater. You can see some distressings around the neck. It features this little uh, smiley face that is kind of synonymous or popular amongst a lot of the Capital designs. This smiley face was actually introduced to the Capital brand, I believe, when his his son took over the brand, which was around the same time that Capital with a C became Capital with a K. But yeah, this is just a super wearable piece. The wool quality is pretty good. It's not super itchy, which is something that's extremely important to me because I am super sensitive when it comes to wool. A lot of wool does make me itch. This I can wear all day and it doesn't really give me much of an issue at all. I went with a size three on this. It does fit a little bit bigger. I almost wish I would have gone with a size two, but at the same time, I feel like a two might have been too small and I was kind of going for a little bit of a baggier look. The crazy thing is I now have I guess four pieces from Capital and not a single pair of denim, which if you guys know, Capital is mostly known for their denim. And I would love to add a pair at some point. Uh, it's just a little bit pricey. Now, as you guys can see, we also got some shoes. And we got another pair of shoes. Well, and also actually while I'm discussing shoes, or I guess before we do that, we should probably show off the other accessory I got, which is this hat. Now, I don't have a lot of things from Amiri, but I will gladly risk my life over the fact that they have some of the best fitting hats of all times. Now, this right here is a collaboration between Amiri and the Great City Workshop. I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to open this up a little bit because I got a big ass head. Still need to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I got a big cranium, people. Boom! These things fit absolutely amazing. I don't know what my boy Mike Amiri did to these things. I don't know if he like pre-wears every single hat, but almost no hat comes straight out of the box with a perfect fit. And this is one of the few hats that it seems like every time I have purchased one, they fit perfect. perfect. And like I said, I purchased a couple. The red Amiri logo hat, you can actually see some sweat. In fact, you can see sweat on almost, well, I guess two of the 
three main logos. This is the only one I haven't worn a whole lot. When I feel like I'm gonna be outside for a long period of time, I have another blue hat that these all fit very similar to, which is this random old vintage corduroy snapback. This is actually from 1988. It's some like random middle school in Washington, not too far from where I live. But I cannot recommend these enough. If you have the money for these things, they fit so freaking good. Now, of course, the links to this hat, if any of those colors are in stock or some other colors that are similar to these are in stock and links to the clothing items and the shoes that I'm about to show off will of course all be in the description down below. But like I said, I have two pairs of shoes. So first we got the Noter Dunks. These sadly are not a pair of SBs, but one thing that I love about these shoes is they are very SB looking. <laughs> I feel like these should have been SBs. SBs often feature a little bit more of a premium material. They have a bunch of cool little features. So they have this kind of like brushed suede material. Although it features this leather material on the outside that I'm not the biggest fan of, it does have this almost like canvas material on the inside. You also see some exaggerated stitch lines on the swoosh. You see the little noter or notre, notre, noter. I always get called out for saying that incorrectly, but you see how they actually made like an alteration to the Nike swoosh. I like whenever they do this. You have this little like almost mechanic name tag right here. The stitching on the tongue is actually kind of cool as well. One of the more popular features that we've seen on a lot of sneakers as of late, you have this aged midsole. Yeah, the colorways, amazing. I'm glad to finally have both pairs in my collection. I got that pair right there. And then of course, finally got these thanks to Farfetch. I almost said Stadium Goods because if you guys don't know, Farfetch owns Stadium Goods and all the shoes that you see on their site are from Stadium Goods, which is kind of nice because then you can at least buy with confidence and know the shoes that you are buying are legit. But the last pair I got, I'm curious if anyone can take a guess of what these beautiful things are. Okay, I'm just gonna let you guys know. Take a gander at these beauties right here. You guys know I'm a big fan of blazers, specifically SB blazers. That's what originally got me into shoes. We have this stunning pair of SB blazers. Gorgeous printing upper suede. It looks like you just painted a house in these things. I love this sneaker. Not really much to say about it. If you are in the market for a pair of shoes, you want something clean that you can wear with everything, bars, <laughs> then make sure you check out some SB blazers. You can find a lot of pretty cool blazers like this for either retail or fairly close to retail. I think blazers are somewhat popular. Uh, I guess the TikTok community kind of uh, made the vintage 77 blazers more popular. I like all blazers but SB Blazers will always have a special place in my heart. Oh, and as you can see, like I said before, came from Stadium Goods. Now, all the items that I showed off in this video will be in the description down below. Like I said, check out that top link in the description and then right underneath that, you will have my discount code, which is JACOBFF. Just remember, Jacob, friends and family, and that code will get you guys 10% off your order. So if you guys find yourself with any lovely items in your cart that you would like to purchase, make sure you take advantage of the opportunity to save some money and get some items that you want. The link, discount code, and terms and conditions of that discount code will be in the description down below, along with some links to my personal social media. Media. Follow me on Instagram, the Starlight T H E S T A R R L I F E. Now that I think about it, I mentioned that I posted a picture of this little capital hoodie, but I also posted a picture of me wearing these beauties right here. One of the reasons Farfetch first reached out to me was because they started carrying more Supreme. When I started doing these Farfetch videos, it honestly kind of gave me an opportunity to expand my style and I can genuinely thank them a lot. Like if you look through my Instagram, there are quite a few photos that I almost just want to get rid of. I'm not going to say that some of those were like my personal style. Obviously when I wore the Paisley Supreme bandana suit at the Hype Beast campgrounds, that wasn't my personal style. My personal style is usually like a t-shirt, some sweatpants. That's it. But I can genuinely say my personal style has evolved since I started doing these videos and I really have Farfetch'd to thank because they just have such a wide selection of stuff and being that they have such good descriptions, it kind of gives me the confidence to buy knowing that it's probably going to fit and if for whatever god awful reason it does not, they have a super easy simple return policy so I don't have to worry about not getting my money back. I don't want to talk too long. I do just want to say thank you Farfetch. I appreciate you. I'm honored to have the opportunity. The whole team over there is absolutely amazing. I haven't talked to Christy in a while. So Christy, if you are watching this, I do expect an email update soon. I hope you're doing well. And now that some of these restrictions are uh, 
lifting. Hopefully I can come out to London and visit the team over there. Thank you so much. And thank you to each and every one of you guys that are watching this video. It seems like a lot of you guys have been liking the vintage content. And I think this is kind of a cool mix because a lot of these pieces are definitely vintage inspired. It's kind of cool seeing these pieces that are a little bit more high end and inspired from the things that I am constantly in the thrift store picking and searching for. I don't know. I really enjoy videos like this so uh, hopefully you guys like it these will definitely be in my spring summer rotation i'm gonna be wearing these quite a bit over the next couple months but thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart as always keep living the star life if you did not like the video please do that smash the like button show some love in the comments subscribe and turn post, post notifications if you have not already but yeah peace